Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you're doing well. Um, today's topic is pretty straightforward. We're going to be asking what is the current outcome of your relationship? So this can be for if you're actually in a committed relationship or if you are in kind of a situationship thing with somebody. Um, where where is it going what's what's going to happen what is the most likely long term outcome based on how things are going currently so we are going to have three uh different options here for group 1 we have orange citrine this is my little candy corn stone um we have for group 2 rose quartz and group three is yellow citrine. And um, for today's reading, I'm going to be using my newest deck. I got this for Christmas. Um, this is the Light Seers Tarot, and it is by Chris Ann. This is what the box looks like, um, if you're interested. I'm really liking it. Um, I find it really easy to connect with. Um, it's not really the type of deck that I normally would go for, but I don't know, something about it, I just, it clicks really well with me. So, if you haven't made your decision yet, go ahead and pause the video because we are going to get started. Group one. Where is your relationship going? What is the current outcome of your relationship? What is the current outcome of group one's relationship? We have the Queen of Cups reversed. We have... That's, that's too many cards. I like to just take one at a time. Okay. Ooh, Three of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. one's relationship going. We have the magician, we have the devil reversed. Um, that very first like little batch of cards that fell out when I first started shuffling, these two were in that. Um, so that's interesting. <clears throat> Let me get a couple more. Whoa. Whoa. Justice, that's another one that um, fell out in one of those like groups of cards. Okay, so we have the Two of Pentacles here, the Five of Cups, and on the bottom of the deck for you guys is the Four of Cups reversed. Four of Cups reversed, this is a card that typically talks about somebody finally making a decision about something. Um, in the upright position, this is about, you know, apathy, boredom, uncertainty, procrastination, somebody putting something off. Um, when it's reversed, it's like coming out of that kind of energy, someone finally 
doing something that they've been putting off, finally making a choice about something, finally shifting into a more active energy. So um, let's see what we have here. The, okay, the, the what I'm getting with these cards is that your current relationship or, you know, the situation that you have going on with whoever you're thinking about, um, it seems to me like there's not a lot of balance in this connection um, or in this relationship. And I say that because we have justice here. This is about balance. We have the two of pentacles here. This is about balance. The page of pentacles, the image on this card, she's standing here balancing on one foot. Um, so that's, this is kind of a, a theme that I'm seeing here. Um, it feels like you and the person that you're thinking of, there's some kind of like inconsistency. It's like somebody is putting up, putting forth a lot more effort making a greater investment into this connection than the other person is. I'm getting like, with the Queen of Cups here, She's reversed. In the reverse position, this card is not a super positive energy. Um, she can represent like a very overly sensitive, clingy, needy kind of almost smothering um, energy. So it, it almost feels like whoever, it's like who whoever is putting forth all of the effort here it's like they are it's like one person in this scenario is doing very little and the other person is doing the absolute most um one person has is expressing very little emotion very little attachment the other person is very clingy very emotional very attached almost codependent. Um, and as a result of that, I see a lot of pain and I see a lot of heartache, um, a lot of conflict as well. I feel with the page of pentacles that if you are really hoping for some kind of commitment with this person, um, yeah, a commitment may come, but I don't feel that it's going to be what you're wanting. I don't feel that it's going to be quite what you expect or like it, 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 something about it, it's just not quite going to meet your needs and that's because you know pages being the first of the court cards they have this underdeveloped kind of you know immature sort of energy it's a fresh energy it's a new energy um this card represents like offers of commitment being made offers of stability being made um it seems to me like you may have a, a commitment with this person now or in the future, but I don't feel like it's going to be the level of commitment that you really are going to be wanting. So either this person is not going to devote themselves to the relationship as much as you would like. It's, it's kind of like... Um, I'm seeing as an example, you know, somebody, like a relationship, two people who are exclusively together. Um, there's a dog in my front yard, and we don't have a dog. Um, anyway, I'm seeing two people who are, you know, together exclusively, um, who maybe, you know, there have been discussions you know, about taking things further, so for example, getting engaged, getting married, moving in together, but those things never happen. Do you know what I mean? 
like there's a commitment, but it's not the level of commitment that you want. It's not the level of commitment that's, you know, really serious. It's like, it's like it never really moves past that initial stage, the page stage. Um, so I see, you know, I see a lot of discord as a result of that. Um... So, like, if that's your current situation with this person, unfortunately, I don't really see things improving. Um, with the Magician card here, this is about manifestation. It's about, like, you know, creating the reality that you want to see for yourself. I'm getting here that... You may feel very hopeful about this connection. You may feel like this is the person for you. Um, and, you know, that that doesn't mean... It, it doesn't mean that you're wrong if things don't work out. It could be a case of, you know, right person, wrong time. Um... But I'm seeing you guys, like, working really hard, trying to manifest the type of relationship, the type of life that you want to have with this person. But, again, never quite getting there. Never quite reaching the full potential that you know this connection has. Um, and I feel like, as a result of that there's going to be a reckoning. There's going to be a choice that's going to have to be made. Um, you know, justice is about decisions. It's about fairness. It's about, you know, equal give and take, balance, like I said earlier. Um, this and the Two of Pentacles are saying very similar things to me. The Two of Pentacles, again, is about a choice. It's also about balance. Um, this card can represent somebody, like, going back and forth on making some kind of decision, trying to juggle things, kind of flip-flopping, you know, should I do this, should I not do this, I'm gonna do this, I'm not gonna do this. Um, I see this as you, you know, getting to a point where you just have to be, you know, completely real with yourself and say, okay, I have to make a choice about this because... This is not going the way that I want. This is not going the way that I had planned or hoped. Um, the devil card reversed. In the upright, this is feelings trapped, feeling stuck in a situation. This can represent toxic relationships, um, addictions, mental health problems, any kind of situation where somebody's feeling like there's no way forward. Um, in the reverse, this is about breaking free of your chains, breaking free of whatever it is that's holding you back, um, overcoming, okay, and freeing yourself. So unfortunately, guys, group one, um, I don't, I don't see this relationship lasting um, I don't see a real positive outcome here. The Five of Cups, this is, you know, loss. This is sadness. Um, I think most of you are going to end up making the decision to let go of this relationship and move on. And it's going to hurt, and it's going to be painful, but I think you're going to know that it's ultimately the right thing to do. Four of Cups, I talked about this at the start, Four of Cups Reverse, this is finally making a decision about something, right? Making a choice that you've been putting off, doing something that you've been putting off. I do want to pull one Oracle card and see if there's anything that it, they want to add.
heart to heart conversations, express your love, calling in your soulmate, reversed. Um, this is saying a similar thing to what the magician was talking about for me. Um, you may feel as though this is something significant, and that's you, you're not necessarily wrong about that, okay? Um, that this is a, a meaningful, deep connection. This doesn't mean you're wrong about that. It just means that, you know, the way things are going now, like, this is not a period in your life where this is serving you, serving your highest good. Um, again, it could be right person, wrong time. I know we're looking at relatively long-term outcomes here today. So, you know, this is spanning, you know, the course of a few years. I would say for you guys, I would say maybe five at the most. Beyond that, it becomes a lot more difficult to predict what's going to happen because the future is very changeable. It's completely subject to our actions, the choices we make. So beyond that period, um, anything is possible here, right? Express your love and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. This is again talking to me about like that need for honesty, that need for, you know, just a, a truthful um, decision. Like a decision that's going to allow you to be true to yourself and your values. So this is not really talking so much to me about heart-to-heart -heart conversations with your person. It's talking to me about heart-to-heart -heart conversations with yourself. I feel like you will learn a lot from this relationship about yourself, about what really matters to you, and about what you really want in life. Express your love. Um... I think a big part of this experience for you is going to be like understanding your value. Um, you don't need to pursue and chase after someone or, or remain with someone who is not giving you back what you deserve, right? You deserve someone who is sure about you. You deserve someone who is excited about you, who really, truly wants to be with you and wants to make you happy and wants to have a life with you if that's what you want to have with them. You know? So, group one, unfortunately, I'm not seeing a real happy outcome here. Um... But do keep in mind, this is just based on the current trajectory of this relationship. It's totally subject to change. Anything can happen. Um, the future is never set in stone 100%. And also, this is just a general reading. So if this didn't resonate with you, then it wasn't meant for you. Um, take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. If it doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um... You don't have to say, you don't have to tell me if it didn't resonate, because if it didn't resonate, then it wasn't your reading. Okay, so, um, guys, that's what I have for you today. Um, I know this probably, for, well, for a lot of you, this probably wasn't what you were hoping to hear, but, um, that's what I have. I can only tell you the things that I see. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, I hope I see you guys next time. And we're going to move on now to group two, which was the Rose Quartz. So what is the current outcome of group two's relationship? We're looking fairly long term. We've got the five of wands reversed. We have the Nine of Swords reversed, the Eight of Cups reversed. Interesting. Let's 
Seven of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, sorry. Whoa, that's too many cards. Okay, Four of Swords really wants to come up here. Um, let me grab a couple more. Is this supposed to be upright or not? I think this is supposed to be upright. Okay. Okay, and at the bottom of your deck, guys, is the Nine of Pentacles. So the Nine of Pentacles is about stability, it's about independence, self-sufficiency. This usually represents somebody who knows their worth. This talks to me about self-love, self-care. Um, this is someone who is, you know, really feeling themselves and trying to make the most of their current circumstances, their situation. Um, I feel like this is probably, I feel like this is the energy of, of most of you watching this right now. Um, I'm getting the impression that this actually feels to me like something, something that's currently like on hold. So, you know, I had, I had kind of intended for this to be about relationships that already exist or, you know, people who are already kind of on course to get into a relationship with someone else. But I really feel like for most of you, this is like a no contact situation right now. Or you don't have a lot of contact with this person. Um, things, I, I, I just feel like there's a lot of distance here, a lot of emotional distance, not a ton of communication happening. Um, okay. Eight of Cups reversed. This is talking to me of some kind of return. So that's, um, the first thing. <laughs> that, that's my first clue about, you know, there being distance here. I'm seeing somebody coming towards you, a person you're thinking of coming towards you um, after a period of separation or after a period of, you know, things just not being the way that, the way that they could be, the way that, uh, does that make sense? I don't know. Um, thing, things just not being great between the two of you. Um, five of Wands reversed. In the upright position, this is conflict, this is chaos, this is arguments, this is fighting, competition. In the reverse, this is like conflicts being resolved, um, an ending to arguments, an ending to fighting and disagreements. Um, no more struggles, finding common ground, right? Cooperation. So, if you have had, okay, for some of you, I'm, I'm getting now that you might be with this person, but maybe you've had some conflicts. Maybe you've had some issues in your relationship, okay? That that could also be an applicable situation. Um, also, the Nine of Swords, also reversed. Um, this card talks about anxiety, stress, worry, uh, overthinking things, being really stuck in your head. When it's reversed, it's like, coming out of that kind of energy, overcoming anxiety, overcoming stress, uh, gaining a clearer, more logical, rational perspective on a situation, no longer, you know, being stuck in your head, um, worrying about things. Um, so, <clears throat> 
whether you're actually with this person or not, I'm getting distance, emotional distance. I'm getting that there has been conflict. Um, the future is looking pretty bright for you guys, I would say. I do see, like I said, a return, like coming back together. I see conflict being resolved. I see clear perspectives. I see, you know, an end to stress, an end to anxiety. Um, the Seven of Cups, this is, this card comes up a lot when somebody has a lot of options, um, a choice to make. This also has kind of a daydreamy sort of energy to it. Um, it talks to me about, in this context, this is talking to me about, you know, unlimited potential. There's a lot of possibilities for this relationship. Um, there's a lot of potential that still exists in this relationship. So if, you're, if you've been concerned about, you know, the possibility of this ending as a result of the conflict, the distance, whatever, um, for most of you, I'm feeling like that's not likely to happen. For most of you, I'm feeling like things are going to be resolved and you're going to be able to move forward together. The Ace of Pentacles talks about a new beginning. Um, this also is about commitment, stability, security. Um, so kind of like the two of you having a chance to start fresh and, you know, maybe if your relationship has not been super secure, super stable in the past, this is, you know, this is, this is that changing. This is a slow, you know, gradual but steady progression towards something more secure, something more grounded and stable. Do you know what I mean? Um, the Four of Swords. This is reflection. This is contemplation. Um, in this particular deck, I I relate this a lot to healing. Um, it talks to me about healing and like renewal, restoration, concepts like that. So this is this is showing me again this relationship being healed. This relationship being restored. Leading to a really significant reconnection. Leading to, you know, new memories being made. Happy memories being made. Three of Cups is, you know, harmony. It's unity. It's togetherness. Um, a lot of times it does talk about friendship, but it's, it's not uh, only about friendship. Um, some people see this as like an indicator of a third party situation. Uh, I rarely see it that way. Um, and I really don't see that in this context. So, you know, what this is showing me is just happiness, contentment, like you and your person getting along, you and your person being together, having good times together again. Um, Also, I think it's very, okay, this is, this is for some of you, this is for maybe, mm, I want to say maybe 20, 25% of you who pick this group, I see a child here, so you and this person very well could have a family in the future. Or if you already have a child together or children, this is showing me a, you know, functional happy family unit. Okay. We also have the lovers. This is balance. This is, again, a functional, healthy, happy relationship. Um, this is two people who are in alignment with one another who are on the same page, who see eye to eye, who have a lot of love for each other as well, who have made the choice to work things through, who have made the choice to keep committing, to remain committed to this relationship, despite difficulties, despite hardship. 
okay? Um, I want to pull out maybe a couple of oracle cards and see if there's anything they want to add to this. So like these cards up here are showing me, you know, a shorter term outcome, obviously. Down here we have the longer term. Okay. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. So that lines up with what I was just talking about and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, this did come up. It, it, it fell out. It was reversed. So, um, you know, I see this as like, it's not a guarantee that you're going to, you and your person are both going to be willing to invest in this. But I feel for the majority of you, that choice is going to be made. Um, there will be the decision made to work on this, to invest in this, to try to make this work out. And I feel like for the majority of you, that is going to be a success. Um, that's going to lead to success. That's going to lead to something really beautiful and stable and happy and romantic feelings. That's because this connection is real and it's worth saving. It's worth investing in. Okay? So I feel like I had mentioned that, you know, some of you may be in this kind of Nine of Pentacles energy right now. If that's not your current state, um, if you're not feeling confident in your ability to work things out with your person, then this is saying you should be. <laughs> you have good reason to be optimistic in this situation, okay? So, you know, just try to have patience. You know, be compassionate, empathetic towards your person, and things more than likely are going to work out really beautifully, okay? So, group two, those are the messages that I'm getting for you today. I hope this was interesting. I hope this resonated. Um, this is just general, so take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, if something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed, and I hope I see you guys next time. Bye! Okay, and lastly, we have yellow citrine. Group three, what is the outcome, the current outcome of your relationship? We're looking relatively long-term current outcome of your relationship based on how things are going now. Got a lot of cards trying to fly out here. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles. Five of Cups. We have the Magician reversed. Three of Swords. Strength. Six of Cups reversed. 
Queen of Swords, Four of Swords. Guys, this is interesting. <laughs> On the bottom of your deck, we've got the Lover's card. This is Union. This is a card that talks about union and partnerships and unconditional love, right? I see with this relationship a lot of pain, but I don't know that it's pain specifically... Um, like as the result of you know conflicts or difficulties between you and your person i kind of feel like there's pain here that's being inflicted from external sources that is having an effect on this relationship or will be having an effect on this relationship I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of oracle cards. For the other two readings, I saved these for last, but I feel like I need a little bit more information about what's going on here. I have Honeymoon Reversed. Heart to Heart Conversations. Whoa. Give your relationship a chance. Hmm. See, okay, hold on. Hold up. There's uncertainty here, obviously. There's uncertainty, there is... I feel a lot of love between you and this person, but it's like the external factors are making it hard to say, you know, whether this is something that's going to really last or not. So let me try to explain what I mean. We have the Two of Pentacles here. This is an imbalance. This is some kind of um, instability. Um, so it seems to me like there's something going on here in this relationship where things are not always stable. And again, I don't feel like it's... I don't feel like the feelings are unstable. I don't get the sense that the relationship itself is unstable because pentacles relate to the physical. They relate to real, you know, material, tangible things. So it's like, I get the impression that for a lot of you, there's something, like some outside force, there's some outside force that is impacting this relationship and I feel like for a lot of you it is either physical distance geographical distance it could be family members other people um could be you know money financial trouble I just feel as though there's there are things that are keeping the two of you apart in some way or there are things that are creating wedge between the two of you in some way or there's something that's just preventing you from being together in the way that you want to be does that make sense um because the magician reversed this is like you know this is manifestation creating creating what you want creating the reality that you want to see for yourself with this being reversed, it's like that manifestation, that creation of that thing you want is being blocked off somehow or delayed somehow. So it's like you and your person, I feel, are on the same page as far as what you want because we have the lovers here. These are two people who are in alignment with each other and who have a lot of love for each other. 
Um, but there are other things that are blocking, you know, you guys from actually creating the life that you want to have. Um, and that is causing a lot of pessimism for some of you. It's causing a lot of pain for many of you. Five of Cups and Three of Swords both talk about grief and sadness and, you know, heartache. Um, the Five of Cups specifically can talk about a fixation on the negatives in a situation. So for some of you, either you or your person are really struggling with this, or both of you are really struggling with what's going on, um, you know, struggling to keep it together. I think a lot of you are really committed to this. You and your person both are really committed to solving these problems, overcoming these obstacles, and really being together in the way that you want. Um, but, it, you know, that doesn't, it, it's still hard, right? It's still hard. Just you're, you're committed to it, to making it work out, but it's still difficult. Um, the honeymoon card does to me a lot of times represent physical distance as well travel um so i think for a lot of you there is like actual like this is something long distance and there could be financial work family related things that are preventing you guys from being physically together i think that's that that seems to be the case for a large number of you um But, you know, it, even if this isn't long distance, like, don't get hung up on that. Um, I feel like it still can definitely be applicable for you. Um, somebody, for a lot of you, somebody wants to get out of their current situation. Somebody feels really stuck. They feel really confined, very limited. They want to let go of the past. They want to move forward with their lives. And for some of you... This is you, for some this is your person, or it could be both of you to some extent, but like, for example, you know, maybe your person is stuck in a place where they're not happy, they're, they're far away from you, or their circumstances prevent them from really, you know, being able to be with you the way they want to be, um, and they want to escape from that, they want to move forward from it, they want to let go of where they are, of their current situation, and move forward. And I think that for a lot of you, that is going to happen. Whatever these blocks are, they're going to be released. They're going to be let go of. They're going to be overcome. Strength is all about resilience. It's all about endurance. It's persistence. It is overcoming that which is holding you back. And this card also, um, it's, I mean, it's, it has a very loving, devoted kind of energy to it as well. So, you know, I, I see, I see a strong possibility that you and your person are going to succeed. You are going to overcome. The Queen of Swords talks to me about cutting out everything that is not serving your highest good. So this is kind of going along the same lines as the, the um, Six of Cups reversed. I don't remember if I mentioned this specifically, but when this card is reversed, it talks about letting go of the past or moving forward from the past. Um, something that's, you know, keeping you kind of stuck. And the Queen of Swords to me is cutting out all the stuff that you don't need, cutting out all of the stuff that's not serving you. Um, heart to heart conversations and give your relationship a chance. Both of these also originally came out reversed. Um, some of you are not sure right now uh, if things are really gonna work out in the end, in the long run. Um, there is uncertainty here. Um, some of you feel like, you know, your ability to communicate with each other is being hindered because of the circumstances that are, you know, at, at play here. Um, however, I feel like 
for for the majority of you these things are going to be overcome you are going to find a way to really connect with each other in a in a much more significant way for a lot of you i really feel like this is going to be actually you know being able to physically be together in in like in the same room um, because for a lot of you, I feel like that's something that you don't get to experience very much. Um, give your relationship a chance. This is making the investment. This is working hard to make something work out. Okay. Also, the Four of Swords here. Um, this card can represent reflection, contemplation, inner work. In this particular deck, it really talks to me about healing. So... You know, I I see the outcome of this relationship here. Ultimately, being you and your person overcoming that which is holding you guys back, overcoming these blocks, these obstacles that are preventing you from really having the kind of relationship that you want to have together, and cutting away all of that stuff, coming out on top, having the chance to kind of heal from those things that have caused these delays, caused all of these setbacks. And this card, it, it shows me peace and calm and serenity. So like, I'm seeing you guys having, you know, finally having this opportunity to just be together and be at peace and be calm and and not have anything to like like no longer having things to worry about no longer having to question will this work will we be able to make this work you know So group three, those are the messages that I'm getting for you today. Um, I hope that this was interesting. I hope that this resonated with you. Uh, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. I feel like you guys, ultimately, you will have a really successful and loving relationship. It's just, it's going to take time to get to that. And I feel like there's going to be, you know, there, there's going to be more obstacles along the way. But you probably already know that, you know. Um, I think, you know, just stick with it. If you really love this person, then I think this will be worth it. I feel like this will be worth it for most of you. So um, that's what I've got. I hope this resonates. Um, if anything doesn't fit here, don't try to make it fit to your situation um thanks for joining me guys i hope you enjoyed and i hope that i see you next time bye